A new era begins as Octagon MMA, Europe's best MMA show, is coming to the UK for the very first time. Octagon 48 will go down on November 4th at the world-renowned AO Arena in Manchester. Where UK fans will experience the electric atmosphere and heart-pounding action that Octagon MMA is known for across Europe and beyond. We will bring some of MMA's biggest names, plus a feature bout that puts two UK stars that nobody would expect to see inside the cage going head-to-head -head after 10 months of vigorous training. One of the UK's best comedians will take on reality TV superstar Jake Quickenden. This is the fight that many people have had their eyes on. You will see UK MMA's rising star, Liverpool's Shem Rock. And one of the most well-known, most dangerous. This phenom has already racked up eight victories before the time limit, with seven of them in the very first round. And the cherry on top will be the grand finale of the MMA reality TV show, Octagon Challenge, England versus Ireland. After two months of the TV show, at this night in Manchester, the Octagon Challenge champion will be crowned. That's it! Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester. here competing once again and taking on this tough fight against Lucas Brutal Sivietz Hathaway white shorts blue corner Sivietz black shorts red corner southpaw versus orthodox as well Luke Sivietz you said it just off way oh, nice oh, to, the face. Up to the face fainted that that's going on the outside to the kick and now we see the power of Sivietz as he bullies halfway up against this fence you see the size of his back as well he's definitely put on some size since we last saw him against Cosma Wow, what a kick, a front kick right up to the face of Sivjets, took it well. Great head position and control here, though, from Hathaway. Looking Needs to be over. careful of that rolling yeah, leg lock. He does that, he loves to do that. We saw that in the Cosmo fight. Not exactly sure what that was. But here we go, Hathaway now trying to muscle his man down. Yeah, Hathaway with the double underhooks. Good control here, good head position. And, and just slowly grinding away, nice little... Jab there, controlling the wrist, has wrapped his left arm fully around the back. Nice switch there from Sivjic, though. And gets his hands crossed together as well. Looks very powerful here, does Sivjic. Yeah, you said it on the walkout. You thought he looked a lot thicker, right, than we saw him against Cosma. Yeah, he threw out the whole body on the legs. The, 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 he's definitely put on some size. But technically, Hathaway, you know, this is he's been here, especially the work they do at Shoot Fires. This is his his realm. Well, you look in the corner there, you've got Felix Klinkhammer, one of uh, Hathaway's main training partners, a, a fantastic fighter, a real personality, and also a very high-level grappler. Hathaway smiling there in this position. He needs to focus on this job. This is going to be a real grueling pace as well for both of them because they're really testing each other's might and uh, strength in these spots. Yeah, and you, you mentioned that Hathaway didn't have to cut much weight for this fight. He naturally could pour himself down. Um, that could pay dividend in the, in the later rounds as well. Maybe he doesn't have such a, a drastic weight cut. I feel like Sivjic definitely did have a hard weight cut for this one. So it'd be interesting to see that as, as this continues, because I feel like this is the style of the fight we're going to see. Yeah, this is a very grappling heavy endeavor from these two guys. But Hathaway doing a great job here, double underhooks. Hathaway coming from the sport of rugby into martial arts. He's having to deal with some rugby-like takedown here now. Yeah, he gets shoved down to the fence there. Nice little trip on the outside from Sivjic. And now has good head position, trying to work his way through this butterfly guard. Top pressure from uh, Sivjic. Really is unreal. You know, Hathaway looks very calm here. Maybe to see a bit more urgency from the stand. He's right in front of the fence, right in front of us here at the commentary box. We talked a lot earlier about Bojan, Youngworth versus Bojan Velickovic and Bo, uh, Youngworth talking about watching the likes of Bojan fight and compete in, uh, in other organizations. Sivjic has had all of but one of his fights at the time that Hathaway was out, so he would have watched Hathaway when he was in his prime in the UFC. 
And now he's facing him here in the cage. It's, it's unreal stuff. Yeah, it has great top pressure converting this takedown. Halfway now, good base, good right hand. Looking to try and stand back to his feet here. Nice switch there, though. Yeah, from Sivijevic does well and forces halfway off the fence. <laughs> Threading that arm through on the left-hand side now. But again, not much urgency coming out of the corner of Hapaway. Seems quite happy to be here, nice and relaxed. I think he's trying to take the breath as well, because this is a hell of a pace that Sivijevic is putting on him as far as pressure. So not being wild with that energy, conserving it. He's just waiting for his moment to try and stand back to his feet. Sivijevic now trying to shelve the legs with this right side and work his way up the knees. And obviously the long limbs um, of Hapaway, they can work against you if you can get under them. And he's trying to get above the knees. He's almost there, Sivijevic. Once he gets above the knees, he can try and look to, to, to score some ground and pound. Until then, just inch by inch, trying to work his way up. Good push on, push on the head, though, from Hapaway. And maybe you could see him, if he hoists the, the hips, he could switch it up or go maybe now for a half Nelson. Oh, he's slipped off that. As well, though, to regain that butterfly on the left-hand side. Now could maybe look to sweep. But thus far, only 30 seconds left in this round, and Sivijevic has been the more dominant. Just scoring that single takedown made all the difference. Looks very strong on top. Used to seeing Hapaway in this position. 20 seconds left now. Hathaway will have had a taste of that power now. That corner, Felix Klinkhammer and Paul Ivans will have to impart some advice on how to combat and maybe avoid these positions for the second and possibly third round. Now, now he's trying to work his way up, looking for a single leg of his own. Referee between rounds, Pavel Toshi did get the uh, the body, the torso of Sivijevic wipes down. Stumbles forward there, halfway and gets caught. Better on the footwork now. Got to have some urgency now, trying to make something happen. Charging forward, double underhooks again, but Sivijevic will like to work from it. This is how he got the takedown last time. Yeah, very powerful as he wraps the arms around the upper body of halfway now looking for his own to, and we're trying to replay that same takedown didn't quite work this time good head position and power here as halfway tries to get the hands together behind the back with the double underhooks has really been the battle of the double underhooks both being able to gain them and can maybe use these to turn and does very well to make some space doesn't really capitalize on it though gets his hands together now looking oh, for his own takedown take yes switches round now you can see the toss Good work now as he gets to the back. Be careful of that judo throw or maybe rolling in for that. Oh, that's beautiful. nice. Oh, look at that step over. Someone's cut. Somebody is cut. I think it might have been a clash of heads as well. I think it's Hathaway. Nice idea there with the lateral drop from Hathaway. He set it up very, very well. Managed to get the takedown, but reactive hips from Sivijevic as soon as he hit the mat. Managed to get back on top. And we're even further away from the fence this time as well. So going to be harder work for Hathaway if he can't get a good grasp of Sivijevic in this half guard position on top. Yeah, clock ticking, three minutes, 35 seconds now for Sivijevic to work from this position. What, what does Hathaway need to do from bottom? He got stuck here for a long time in round number one. What's the key to getting back to his feet or making the space to try and even get a full guard back? Well, it's quite difficult when, the, you know, your opponent's stocky and shorter than you. You need to create space. It's harder with the longer limbs. The longer limbs can be utilized you know, to, to score more, more um, submission attempts, maybe triangles, arm bars, all that sort of stuff. And obviously, we all talk about range on the feet and understanding the range, but if you have smaller gaps like CVS does, he, he's, he's stockier, shorter, there's less space for halfway to work from. He needs to try and get an underhook, work up to one hip, needs to maybe go, no, trying to create space there, going back and forth, good work. And you can see that big cut on the eye now as well. And again, I'm not sure where it came from. I think it might have been a clash of heads, but we'll have to check the replay on that. Not too much blood coming from it, though. Oh, nice little left hand there from Sibiets. Yeah, Sibiets active on top here. Crane a little bit of space, though, with these, this ground and pound. Nice hips from Hathaway, trying to get back to regaining that hip. Sibiets, eight professional wins, eight. Gives up the gut, the full guard, the full mount, though. Yeah. Switches back. Sibiets decides to go back inside. He, he even... He had the full mount, and he switched back to the half guard. Seems very comfortable here. Good hips as he has them to the side. And that forward pressure with that left elbow, that left shoulder. There it is again, that left shoulder in the neck. 
Halfway, not even really attempting to try and get back up. Like I said, I think he has a lack of urgency on the off his back. When he's up against the fence here, he could look to get on, get on his hip, get his hips back and stand. Rather, though, he's just playing this get little game from the bottom, throwing little elbows, pushing away on the head. Not seeing much urgency from him to get back to his feet. Could even wall walk here. Could use the fence. Yeah, needs to make some space. Needs to make something happen. One minute, 40 seconds in the second round left. And we saw this in the first. CVH obviously like a rock on top. Very, very hard to move. Yeah, an unreal top pressure from the Polish fighter. Now Hathaway trying to walk. CVH just keeps that bearing weight down so well on his opponents. Just looks like power to me. Looks like Sivic is very, very strong here. And halfway struggling to deal with it. Struggling to deal with the, the pressure on top. Can't create enough space to make anything, to utilize anything. And Sivic, if he wants, could take the full mount. He's in the three-quarter guard now. Three-quarter mount, sorry. In complete control here, absolutely dominant. Shoulder bumps coming down now as well. 50 seconds left now, full mount. Chosen yeah. to stay there this time, Luke. Takes the full mount, looks for a slight grapevine. It is quite easy, it's easier to escape the full mount as well. That's why he's deciding not to do it. Because people have like automatic responses from that position. Once they feel the full mount, they, they feel in danger. So they have these bridge responses to try and escape. So he, maybe he nullifies that from going back to the half guard, but seems quite confident here now. Another dominant round. It's all about the edge. position, right? Once yeah. he's got it, Hathaway's just not been able to find space up. And like you said, Hathaway was the one that engaged in the grappling in that second round. Calm and composed corner. Oh, another elbow there. Now Hathaway rolls out. John Hathaway. Gonna have to see something special from yes. him in this third round. That's what I was gonna, exactly what I was gonna say. He needs to do something special, show us something special in this third round. But he is certainly capable. You look at the pedigree, the fighter he is, and where he comes from, the training he's been dedicating to, even through his illnesses. But now he has this mountain, this Polish mountain to climb. Oh, a nice leg kick there from Matt Sivic. Oh, and Sivic has these unorthodox attacks, like we said, unorthodox on the ground, but also on the feet. You see there with the spinning heel kick. Doesn't quite land. Halfway seems a little bit uncomfortable on the feet as well. The hands low. Looks fresh though, Hathaway. Like he's had two rounds with Siviac on top of him, but still looks to have a good gas tank showing the conditioning he's in. I've never had to question Hathaway's conditioning his whole career. Always puts the work in, a very dedicated athlete. Comes together again though with Siviac, that power as he gets under and manages to get on this single double now. Oh, he just works so well from these positions. You add the technique to the strength, it's hard to deal with, right? We've seen yeah. it in rounds one and two now. Nice work here on the wizard from Hathaway. Sivic has fantastic head position. Good, nice knees on the inside. Three minutes, 35 seconds left in this third and final round. That is the time John Hathaway has got to turn this around. Looking for this outside reap here is Sivic. Should be careful of the, the judo toss. Judo toss is there. Gives up that wizard, though. Interesting choice from Hathaway. Can't seem to get his wrist back. You see that right arm? Sivic has just cro gro grasped it, and Hathaway can't seem to get it loose. Still struggling. Manages to, though, gets the underhook, does well. Just feel like CVH looks so athletic and powerful in these positions, so strong. And just able to fight his fight right, Luke. This is where he wants it, he's been able to keep it here. Looking for the takedown here now. Right in front of us is CVH oh. goes to the hand. That's halfway, needs to be careful. Works himself back up to his feet. Again, going for the outside reap. Relentless pressure. Yeah, relentless pressure and halfway struggling to deal with it. Can't get off the fence. Gives up that overhook though. By doing so, gives it almost gives up the back. Uh, 
We're down to half a round left, two minutes, 20 seconds for Hapaway to, to make something happen, but the onslaught from Siviet so far, not giving him a chance, not giving him any space to breathe or to work or to be creative. And that is the, you know, the story of the fight. There's no space for Hathaway to do what he does. It's, he's completely squashed by this Polish blanket now. Again, going for the outside reap. Manages to get the leg up. Great balance and base from Hathaway. But just defensive. Needs some offense here. The time is quick. It's ticking away. There was a little knee to the cup there, but Hathaway just went, no, I'm good, carry up. Manages to dig in that underhook on the right-hand side. Referee wants some more action. One minute, 30 seconds now. The referee's going to separate them, I'm sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Grabbing onto grabbing the, the cage, right? The cage, yeah. You're not cheating, you're not trying. Sivet here looking for this double, this power double. Good forward pressure. Halfway just cannot move here. Looking for that, maybe that arm drag wasn't there. Final 60 seconds now. Just doing enough is Siviec to stay in his position. Referee encouraging, and there we have the break. Works well for Halfway as we go into this last minute. Yeah. Need something here. I need something. Seconds. Want to see some urgency from him. Needs to look for a finish. Knees up the middle, maybe. That team oh. that we saw in the first round. Something creative. Tried to fire an elbow in there. But needs to keep the distance as well. Can't come too close because Siviet will just grab hold of him. 30 seconds left. Again, going for the clinch. Nice elbow there. 25 seconds. But as soon as they have contact like this, Siviec every single time has been able to turn it to this position, Luke. Just looked like he's bullying halfway up to this point now in this third and final, last 20 seconds. Just looks so powerful in these positions. Just almost looks like, you know, athletically, maybe a not such a great decision for halfway to not cut weight as he gets dumped here. Oh, big take down at the end of the round here. Wow, what a performance there from Lucas Siviec. I think that's, that's what it was. It was an incredible performance from Siviec. We know the caliber of John Hathaway, the level he is, the technique he possesses, and he just really ran through him there, absolutely dominant for three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how the judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 30 20 seno in the favor of the winner from the red corner, Lukas Brutal Sivies. Great Britain, Octagon MMA is coming. November 4th at the AO Arena in Manchester.